Vermont State Police declaring a cold case of more than 40 years has finally been closed. Back in 1982, the body of a newborn baby boy was found on the side of the road by children. And now, Vermont State Police have pieced together what happened all those years ago. NBC5's Tyler Bronski is in Northfield with more on the resolution and the impact that this case has had on that community. Here at Mount Hope Cemetery in Northfield, this is where Matthew Isaac Doe was laid to rest. Now, 42 years later, new discoveries have put some closure to the case. It's hard to imagine what happened here in Northfield back in 1982 when the body of a newborn baby boy was found on the side of Gillespie Road. When we unraveled it, that's when we noticed that it was uh, a baby. Ernest Caswell says he and his brother discovered the baby all those years ago. It's been a long, long time. I didn't think it would ever be solved. Vermont State Police says Caswell's name matches their records from the investigation. The infant was named Baby Doe by state police until a local priest from St. Mary's Church stepped in. In the church, we always talk about keeping the faith, yeah. and they kept the faith. Father Earl Cooperkamp explains that one of his predecessors gave Baby Doe an identity, naming him Matthew Isaac Doe. They gave him a funeral and made sure he had a final resting place at Mount Hope Cemetery. I was so glad to know that the, the, the congregation of St. Mary's, uh, the pastor there, could take this child and at least give it a decent burial. An autopsy at the time couldn't determine how Matthew Isaac died. Evidence couldn't point to who the baby's parents were. So the case went cold. Until now, Vermont State Police says the advancements of DNA testing help connect them with Matthew's biological parents. The technology has advanced to the point where you know, we're able to Bring the success, the successful conclusion to this stuff. VSP says they interviewed both parents. The biological father left Vermont and had no knowledge of the pregnancy, let alone his child's death. The biological mother says she didn't know she was pregnant until she went into labor alone for several hours and lost consciousness. When she woke up, she says she found the umbilical cord wrapped around Matthew's neck, the baby not breathing. She said she was going to bury him in the woods until she heard noises, got scared, dropped the baby, and ran away. We could just feel like she has been honest and, um, you know, the information that her, the information she provided is supporting the evidence that we do have on hand. Between their interviews and additional evidence, VSP says they were able to come to the conclusion that the 1982 death of Matthew Isaac Doe was not intentional. And even with the case closed, here in the community, Matthew Isaac is still deeply cared for. To now know that the community, and especially the parents, and even the congregation there at St. Mary's Northfield can feel like there's some resolution at this point. A resolution to this baby story that all these years later hasn't been forgotten. VSB says they received assistance from several departments throughout this process, such as Northfield Police, the Chief Medical Examiner's Office, and Parabon Nano Labs. No criminal charges are being filed. In Northfield, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News.